And to start this tutorial, we're going to first of all make a fairly large cylinder, solid cylinder. I'm going to make that 400. Pull. by 45 nice round figure and then we'll turn it a bit and I'm going to measure the thickness which we know of course we select select tool and select around the edge and then the dimension tool see we've got an annotation plane here so we can select the top edge and then the bottom edge and we've got 45 millimeters just select it there then to double click now we can change the text i'm going to do it all in capital letters so i'm going to put the caps lock on Now, it's quite strange this because I want to move that to the left a little bit. It's off towards the right from the center line, but I want to move it to the left. Now, you would think you would need the move tool, but that's not. If you try the move tool, this is what happens. It jumps around. As it happens, it's moved to more or less where I want it in the center. But if you want to move it incrementally, the pull tool does that nicely for you. You can move it all over the place. So we can put it just about there, let's look at it tangentially. No, I think I want that about there. It's nice. Now that we have that, we can select the project tool in the intersect panel here, project. Select one or more faces or lines to project. So we'll turn it a bit so we can see what's going to happen. Now I'm going to click in the black of one of these characters. We'll take the W, click, wait a little while. Now we see we've got a projection of that character on the surface going around the cylinder. Now in the structure tree I'm going to turn off the annotation plane there we've got writing now I'm going to select pull tool and control select these characters and we've got a pull arrow telling me it's 200 radius so I suppose I want, oh look, that one's gone away. We'll just control select that one again, right. 200 radius, which is the radius of our cylinder. I'm going to make that 201 return. And there it has projected it out. One millimeter. Bring the annotation plane back. Now with the annotation plane selected, I'm going to select the move tool. Having done this before, uh, you can get in trouble with having this annotation plane graze past the outer face so I'm going to move it just one millimeter away 
one from the face. Sometimes the, the lines from the projection don't get written in if this is touching the surface where the line's supposed to be. So I've just moved it away one millimeter. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is grab the hub and move it into the middle by touching the outer rim here and it puts the hub in the middle. Then I'm going to turn, turn it, well I'm going to turn it backwards this time, backwards to there. Double click. Until I see a cursor flashing. Then backspace. And type 3. D. Delete, delete. Solid again. Turn it a little bit. That's it. Now there again, the annotation plane is just about grazing. No, it's not. It's it's still one millimeter away, which is nice. So again, we select project. And click on three, and we see that it has projected the three D. Select pull two hundred and one return. Right, I think we all know what's going to happen now. Annotation plane. Solid object, move. Select tool, select. Project Pull. Control Pull Control Select Two and One Return. Move <clears throat> solid. You start to get into routine after a while. Select, click. As soon as you see the flashing cursor, you know you can start typing. We are whoops, R O U N. D, delete, delete. Now that looks up about right, spacing. And project. 
Where? Doing it for me. <laughs> That's probably because the whole thing was selected. Put the text in straight away. It's worth knowing. Pull. Control select. Be careful you don't select the actual text outline. We've got the pull tool, 201. There we are. And bring the annotation plane back. Move. Oh, I didn't have the solid selected. Select. Now I'm going to now you don't want to make this lettering too long, otherwise sometimes it doesn't work as we would expect. But I'm going to take a risk here. Here I'm going to type right now then. Select the pull tool. And move it to where I think it's right. Yes, it's a bit high. Remember to move to move this. We need to have have the pull tool active, not the move tool. Right, so select now. Let's try that again. Select the text so we've got a bounding box around it. Now, then, if we select the project, does it project it onto the surface for us? Usually takes a second or two. Yes, it has done. Deselected in the structure tree, and then Select the pull tool. Thinking. All right. Control select. Ah, something, there's something strange going on with this letter R here. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide that and I'm going to get rid of this troublesome letter. Select it, delete. Oh, it's only got really part of it. Delete right, that's got rid of it. Put the annotation plane back. Click on it and get the cursor and delete everything but the R. Then select the solid and the move tool. Oops. Now to make this a bit more accurate, if you grab the rotate and then move out, you can get a more accuracy, more accuracy moving the moving the uh, cylinder around with a bigger radius. So we want to move this around. Oh, 
That's nice, I think. Project, select the R. You select pull. Ah, oh, that's better. 200, 201. There it is. Just to make this a bit flashy, let's uh, give it some colour. Select the solid, display, colour. Got a brass colour here. Select the brass. Metallic finish high gloss. It is possible to isolate this if you require it, just to make it separate characters in a curve by using the split body tool over here. So if you select the split body, click the target object, which is the solid, and click the face, plane or edge to use as a cutter. I'll just click this edge and lo and behold we've got a load of solids down here. I'll just move this to so we can see them all. We look at them all. That's all of these characters all the way around. So if we deselect the main solid, <laughs> wonderful. Yeah. So I'm going to make an image of this to put uh, on the video. So we just go file, save as, save as, JPEG, change the name to A 3D text. Oh, wait a minute, got caps lock on. 3D text. And save it somewhere. And that's it. Hope you like that. Hope it can be of some use to you. See you later. Bye. Did anyone spot my deliberate mistake? Well, it's this letter A. Somehow it didn't get made 3D. So we'll just select the pull tool there. Select it. Type. Two or one return. And there we go.
Bye again. Bye.